Boba Fett was a man with no name kind of character, lone gunslinger when I was a kid. You didn't know his face, you didn't know who he was. You know, the idea of somebody wearing Mandalorian armor is clearly influenced by Boba Fett. So bringing in Boba Fett felt very right. With the book of Boba Fett, we're going to find out where he's been and about how he's changing. What happened in those years between then and the end of Return of the Jedi? And then also seeing what would Boba Fett be like now. John's story structure was really brilliant in that it was just overflowing with all things cool. There's a rawness to everything. That's what I love about it. I think that's what gives it its authenticity. There's a little bit of fun in there as well. A lot of action, drama, and it's going to be exciting for the fans to see. It's going to be some journey. Jabba had many vessels. We've got a lot of ground to cover if we had to keep his empire intact. I can make the rounds without you. Jabba rarely left his chambers. Jabba ruled with fear. I intend to rule with respect. If I may. Speak freely. In difficult times, fear is a sure bet. <laughs> <laughs>